Well, everyone, welcome back to the underside of the cockpit here at Lantern One. And what I did is I went and bought a up at Amazon. It's actually a return, you know, perfectly good, except for it's missing some screws, which I bought. Uh, it's an IQ stop by Draw Tight. It is the new, um, or it's not new, but it's a 20191 Draw Tight. It is a uh, I stop IQ electronic brake controller and what it's going to do is I have an old draw tight right here and it's just on or off this is momentum related so it has a speed sensor and uh, I guess you call it a potentiometer that will adjust my uh, braking power going to the trailer um, particularly notice it in traffic um, I'm always messing with the dial on this thing but in traffic um, if I'm going six miles an hour, it nails the tires on and drags the camper and truck to a rapid stop, and I don't want it to. So, wiring diagram. I'm going to wire in, which I've already pre shrunk and crimped one end of it. I'm going to wire in the plug. Let's strip this guy out. I believe this vehicle was pre wired, where it's, it's got the towing package on it. I'm sure this wiring harness is already installed, and uh, all I'm doing now is just going to go ahead and uh, put the new stuff in here as the old one. Um, probably had to be added aftermarket, but I bet the wiring harness existed ahead of time. So let's go here. Old light blue, whatever. Go blue to blue. Hopefully, hopefully that's the. Hopefully that's going to be the ticket here. If I wire the electrical part of it, the plus and minus will burn out my unit here. Perfect. I don't want any kind of weird break is in it. I guess it's about levels we're gonna get on anything in here. Okie doke. I've got a stubby screwdriver inside. I may go grab that here. Third try is the charm. My DeWalt right angle screwdriver. Well, I'm sure it'll work it now. All right, so it's flashed NC for no trailer connected for 15 seconds when I plugged it in. And it went to what it's supposed to, went, went to, went to, supposed to go to. I'm gonna find me some zip tie spots and tie this cable up so it doesn't get entangled in my foots. And there's the IQ stop brake control. Take and shake up the road. I got my free. I got free fries to steak and shake. So you just have to ask. So let's do a sandwich. We like my steak and shake steak burgers. I grew up in inside Indianapolis. I'm pretty sure that's where steak and shake started. So. Still love their little pencil fries too, or their straw fries. I went to the animal fair, got to the geese for there. The big bad booms, the light of the moon, the tall man's all over here. The monkey, he got drunk. My friend of mine wrote this song. Another guy that I used to play in the same band. He walked into the bar and parked his lanky frame upon a dog by stool. And with a long, soft southern draw, said, I'll just have a glass of anything at school. Are we recording yet? <laughs> A barroom girl with hard and knowing eyes slowly looked him up and down. And she thought, I wonder how on earth this country bumpkin found his way to town. She said, hello, country bumpkin. How's a frost out on the pumpkin? I've seen some sides of men or something. Where'd you come from, country bumpkin? How are you today, sweetie pie? Well, this is just a short year later. And it, oh, look, at there goes the car. Nobody's driving it. You better get in that car so you can drive it. 
It was just a short year later in a bed of joy because years and days like pain. I'm here at Silver Springs State Park and it's uh, Tuesday and there's pretty much nobody here. I got here about 3 o'clock. They close at 6. It's in the mid-60s. It's actually really pretty. Overall, it's, uh, it's a neat looking spring. It's all these cypress trees. You can smell them. It's definitely got a... Uh, a cypress is a conifer so it smells kind of like pine trees but they do have their own kind of a distinct smell and a little bit of a breeze so that uh, pine tree smell is blowing through here at the park it's actually kind of nice and it's quiet like I said nobody's here it's awesome definitely worth a visit Yeah, most definitely been enjoying it here. Uh, it's kind of like a botanical garden in a state park. Um, definitely worth the stop. It is winter, so the trees don't have their leaves on the cypress. And the uh, cypress have dropped their needles. They'll get them back. But uh, it's really quiet. There's a major road right next door, so you've got a little road noise. But it's definitely worth, worth stopping if you can get to... Silver Springs, come on by. And she thought, I wonder how on earth this country bumpkin found his way to town. She said, hello, country bumpkin. I was frost out on the pumpkin. I've seen some sights of men or something. Where'd you come from, country bumpkin?